breaking international criminal courts will so teach top people in buari government a language they understand ipop said the group said this is in its reaction to the presidential media aid garibald shows statements that canoes extradition and prosecution will weaken the pro biafra separatist group welcome to today's news the indigenous people of biafra ipop as said, the Nigerian government has landed itself in trouble for bringing its leader, Namdi Kano, to the country through an extraordinary rendition in June. The group said this in its reaction to the presidential media aid, Garibald Shehu's statement that Kano's extradition and prosecution will weaken the pro Biafra separatist group. I broke through its spokesman, Ima Powerful, in a statement made available on Sarah Reporters, disclosed on Tuesday, she while reacting to the article published by The Economist said, in the Southeast, I pop, which The Economist rightly describes as the Rishana, the arrest and prison trial of the terrorist leader of the group is the beginning of its demise. The president's administration is redoubling effort to have IPOB rightfully designated as a terrorist group by our allies outside of Nigeria, an act which, at act which will collapse the ability to transact gains from crime and extortion in foreign currencies. Reacting, IPOB statements partly read. We are surprised at the levels of cluelessness and ignorance displayed by Garibald Shehu about the operations of IPOB. We therefore want to assure him and his co travelers that the extraordinary rendition of our leader Mazin Nambikanu will rather destroy Nigeria and not IPOB. By kidnapping and renditioning Mazin Nambikanu, Nigeria has committed an international crime and must not go unpunished. The world doesn't need any further proof that IPOB is a peaceful movement. The kidnap of its leader by the Nigerian government is a crime that must be punished. So, by this singular violation of international law, Nigerian is in trouble already, but instead of admitting the obvious, its officials are busy playing to the good calibre. But very soon, the masterminds of these heinous crimes will be rounded up and handed over to the International Criminal Court, ICC, for prosecution. IPOB is not a pushover movement and we cannot be intimidated. Just very soon, our oppressors will be taught by ICC in the language they understand. The secessionist group also reacted to the National Security Advisor, Babagana Mongolo, who said the security operatives will curb IPOB violent activities as the Anambra state governorship election slated for November 6 draws near. Munguno had said, we will not allow people to start looting, destroying public property and resorting to not just intimidation, terrorizing people, possibly arson and even homicide. This will not be accepted. The law enforcement agency have been asked to watch out for such elements. IPOP reacted by saying, We want Gariba Oshiu, Monguno, and the Attorney General of the Nigerian, Abubakar Kamalami to stop displaying their ignorance of international law. They should stop the media trial of a leader whose matter is already pending in a court of law. Monguno must settle terrorists and bandits he encourages and supports to cause havoc in the northeast and northwest of Nigeria because ordinary civilians and Christians there have seen hell from his plot and killings. He should place politics to salvage his land from the ends of vampires ravaging north, northeast and northwest of Nigeria. Mongolo, leave IPOB alone and face what is facing you and your people. This is not 1970 when the world looked the other way while they committed mass atrocities in Biafra land. IPOB is getting stronger by Kano's rendition, while Nigeria is headed for destruction. 
the indigenous people of Biafra, and IPOP, assert the Nigerian government has landed itself in trouble for bringing its leader Nambikano to the country through an extraordinary rendition in June. The group said this in, a, this in its reaction to the presidential media aide Garuba Oshewu's statement and that Kano's extradition and prosecution will weaken the pro Biafra separatist group. I probe through its spokesperson, Emma Powerful, in a statement made available to Sahara reporters, disclosed this on Tuesday. She, while reacting to the article published by The Economist, said, In the Southeast, IPOP, which The Economist rightly describes as delusional, the arrest and present trial of the terrorist leader of the group is the beginning of its demise. The president's administration is redoubling efforts to have IPOP rightfully designated as a terrorist group by our allies outside of Nigeria an act which will collapse the ability to transact gains from crime and extortion in foreign currencies. Reacting IPOP statements partly read, We are surprised at the level of cluelessness and ignorance displayed by Garba Shew, but the operations of IPOP would therefore want to assure him and his co-travelers but the extraordinary rendition of our leader Mazin Nambikano will rather destroy Nigeria and not IPOP by kidnapping and renditioning Mazin Nambikano, Nigeria, has committed an international crime and must not go unpunished. The world doesn't need any further proof that IPOP is a peaceful movement. The kidnap of the leader by the Nigerian government is a crime that must be punished. So, by this singular violation of international law, Nigerian is in trouble already, but instead of admitting the obvious, its officials are busy playing to the gallery. But very soon, the masterminds of this heinous crime will be rounded up and handed over to the International Criminal Court, ICC, for prosecution. IPOB is not a pushover movement, and we cannot be intimidated just very soon, our oppressors will be taught by ICC in the language they understand. The secessionist group also reacted to the National Security Advisor, Babagana Munguno, who said the security operatives will curb, will curb 